when working with most software applications, whether it's Word or Excel or whatever, when you create a new document or object, you're given a blank canvas or a blank page, and then you can begin working from there. However, with SharePoint, when you create a new site, um, SharePoint will set up a few things for you. Um, and the purpose of this video is really just to show you out of the box when you create a new site, uh, what those things are that are created for you, and also how to look at the contents of your site and to see what uh, what's contained within your site. So first of all, what you'll see is I've just created this site here, my new team site. And the first thing in, that's been done is a page has been created for me called start.aspx. And this is my home page. The start.aspx page has also been configured with some content. So you'll see here, uh, I have these buttons here that will give me links to some common tasks that I might want to perform the first time I come to my site. Additionally, uh, below here, I have a news feed and that's ready to just use straight away. So I can type a new message here. I can post it up and anybody who has access to the site will, um, will see this message and can interact with it. Additionally, there is a documents module here and that is also ready to use. So I can create a new document and just start adding documents uh, to my site straight away. If you want to see all the contents of your site, uh, if you click on the settings button in the top right and you click on the site contents option, you'll see it takes you to a page here that shows you that you have a site assets library. This is where you would commonly store things like images that you want to use throughout your site. Additionally, you have a site pages module and that will usually contain obviously all your pages. Uh, the start.aspx page that was created for you uh, will be in here. You have a documents library as well, which is empty, but you, as I say, that's configured for you and you can just begin using it straight away. And you also have this micro feed. Um, now that's created automatically for you, but uh, I will get into what that is and how that works in a later video. You'll also see on the site contents page, you have the ability to create a new subsite if you like. Uh, however, if you've just created your site, you probably don't have a need to create new sites, but I will get into how you can create sites and site structure in another video.